Alrighty, everyone, let's do it. Armor Core 6. I heard this game's really easy. My hand is killing me. I couldn't see. If they hit you, justify the fact that Dark Side Phil is coasting through Armored Core 6. There's no way. It's not a hard game. It's not. Are you ready for this? It's not a difficult game. And I'm dead. Now I die. I did slightly better. Oh my god. I, oh, what? I, yo! Oh, getting better. Getting. Yeah, that was. I did. I'm doing much better. He's gonna let it kill me. That was really stupid. Yeah. I heard this oh. Yeah. No, he got me direct hit. Oh. No. <clears throat> I almost had him, but the baby. I keep trying to activate. Couldn't tell. It's no. not a difficult game. I almost had him with the baby. I keep trying to activate shield. It... <laughs> Getting close. I'm just trying to die. It's game right there. Yep. Yep. Perfect swap. Missile city anyway. Can't dodge because I have no. Nope. Got me. I... Can't do anything. <laughs> I'm going to try the sword now. Got him with the sword. Beautiful. Wow. The sword was the way to do it, dude. So all you had to do, you had to negate the shield and slash the shit out of him. And you just go right through the armor. It doesn't even matter. Wow, that was awesome. Well, thank you for the suggestion, whoever said sword again. Because I tried it first, and the sword wasn't working, but I needed to know his pattern. Thank you for the suggestion, whoever said sword again. Like oh no, I'm about to be out of ammo. Shit, I have no ammo. My weapons don't work against this and this boss. I need new weapons. Couldn't do anything about it. So it's a puzzle boss. That stuns her. What are you doing? So I wasn't supposed to use the- I think I need better weapons. I need to stun it and to be able to like hit it in the weak point for giant damage. So the Gatling guns aren't going to work on this boss. It's- it's a- definitely it's a puzzle boss. For sure it is. The Gatling guns aren't going to work on this boss. Oh my god, what is going on? This is dumb now. How the fuck am I getting destroyed? Yeah, no. Got her! Nice! I had open replies on my tweet, and uh, I wanted to see what people had to say. So I got a variety of responses. Of course, first of all, I get some of the most ridiculously stupid over-the-top, dumb-ass responses that you would ever get whenever you have open, you know, responses. You're going to get your hater base responding. Someone literally said this. I'm not shitting you. Oh, did you leave your responses open on this post for clout? Another is because you had some people help you with it. But in reality, it's really hard to fight that boss without that help first. But instead of people saying it nicely like that, literally no one said that. It was, oh, because you're a piece of shit and you suck at games, so your, your handheld stream chat has to do this. You know, real fuck faces. Real people who just don't know how to speak to someone. That if they said that to someone's face in person, they get slapped in real life by someone because they're so disrespectful. But they think it's fair game because you can just say it to someone on the internet and get away with it. You know, it's fucked up antisocial idiots. That's the kind of responses that I get. But also, people were recommending that I try to get the better uh, rocket launchers. But I'm trying to remember what they were called. 
Someone had said that there's like a particularly really great missile launcher you can get. But what was it called? As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder. Carla's nickname? That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. But if the fires happened half a century ago... Well, it could just be some dozer inside joke. Okay. In your games list, would you say you're pleasantly surprised? with how much you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's not, is it difficult? Yes. It's not a difficult game. I dodge and still hit me. What am I supposed to do? I dodge. It hits me anyway. I have no clue. I dodge and it shoots me anyway, so there's no way to dodge it and I have no healing. It hits me anywhere. Quack. I'm not doing this. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, will the checkpoint get me past the lasers? No. <laughs> oh, good. What a great checkpoint. Thanks. Don't get fried. Dodge. I still got hit even though I dodged twice. 50%. This is stupid as shit. I still got hit even though I dodged twice. Oh, really? Astronaut says try charging towards a, an armor core when you're using your missiles because it'll actually give them more speed. I'm gonna try that. Got him. So that worked. That was great advice. That absolutely worked. Target destroyed. And then boost kick. You guys ever try that? You think that's any good? So astronaut says kick will give heavy stagger, but not always guaranteed good for slower max. Okay. Ported in the bellious region. Likely to be cinders from the fires of Ibis. Installations appear to have been built by the Planetary Closure Admi Administration after the fires of Ibis. 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 Make it rain. Make it rain. Yeah, this guy's got tons of armor, huh? So I don't know if I'm supposed to attack the ship or just dodge it for now. I don't think you can actually like, kill the ship right now, right? I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh, right. I totally wasn't moving or anything. Mm -hmm. Eliminate V7. It's the Swineburn of the Vespers. Swinburn. 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 Oh, shit! Oh, man. What was I supposed to do there? I was already flying. I can't see anything. What the fuck? I couldn't see a damn thing. Wow. <clears throat> You were already flying the direction. The coral spawns in front of you. You can't see it, and then you can't move, and you're dead. Oh shit! Make it rain. Almost had him. Shit! I don't know which one's which. Oh, I'm getting. Bu oh my god! I can't control my mech. This sucks. Because I had him. I had, yeah, I had the one, and then all of a sudden, I started getting juggled, and I couldn't tell what was going on, and I never got regained my bearings. I couldn't tell which one was which. I just lost the lock-on, so where did he go? Why'd the lock-on release? That's him right there. What is happening? I can't tell what's happening. All I want, I can't. 
Dude, what the fuck? I can't see. It won't let me see. That's not the one I want. Where'd the other guy go? Okay, this is, uh... This is V8 Potter. We just talked to this guy on the radio. Potter. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison. V8 Pater here. You missed. That's it. Wow. Completely demolished. His his ace in the hole was that giant EMP shockwave that I just dodged. And then after that, that was it. He got well rocked. I guess the uh, Rubicon Liberation Front have pretty shitty ACs. <laughs> right? Leonora says, keep in mind the missions soon will be choice missions. You can only pick one of them when they're active. Look at both reasons before taking them. Thank you. I'm glad you guys told me about that because I didn't understand that. And now that you've explained it, now uh, I will definitely be paying attention to that moving forward. For Prince Albert, the super chat. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, kind of maximize probably would have been tough to do that final mission. All right, you completed the entire training program. Emblem acquired. That was it? An emblem. Wow. Gee, thanks. thanks. Thanks for the emblem. Completely worthless. Yesterday was a fun day of action. Graphics are decent. The one criticism I have is the environments. They're kind of empty and barren and not that interesting. Called it the fires of Ibis. A storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. On Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return. However, I started hearing some hilarious things, all right? And also leaving comments on the videos. Oh, isn't it funny how Phil knew the optimal build for the Sea Star boss? The build I'm using is dual miniguns and this dual rocket launchers. And this was explained or suggested to me like two streams ago by someone. They had said that this was a build they were using, they really liked it, so later on in the game, if I have the ability to use it, I should try it. Someone had actually recommended to me last time when I was playing, they said, get the minigun and try it, and if you like it, you should do dual miniguns, because it's a really good build, and then get good missiles. And they even recommended one of the better missiles of the game, I guess, which is what I have now, I guess it's called the Songbirds. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. I ended up, you know, over time today, unlocking enough credits and everything to do that, and I, I like the build. I don't think I'm going to keep it the whole game, but I like it. So... You know, I, I basically was going along with a suggestion of a viewer from, like, two different streams ago. Then I, I start getting comments on videos. Oh, see? Phil copied Asmund Gold. Because Asmund Gold used the dual minigun, dual missile launcher build his whole playthrough. And Phil obviously watches Asmund Gold and just copies everything he does. <laughs> Did I just punch it? Yeah, I did. Full time, baby. They're walking all over us. Do your job, tourist. We got more toy box mechs. Don't let any through. Not a good build for this because I need to hover and I can't hover in this tank treads. Will I try PvP? Why? Why would I try PvP? Is it not the equivalent of like PvP in Dark Souls? What's the point? I don't know. Is that him? That's him. That's it for him. Wait, that wasn't him? Oh, that was a different mech entirely, I guess. Let's see what we can find. This is gonna be a major pain to maneuver with this tank build. 27 hours, two minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time to deploy Ibis. So they knew that that surge was gonna happen, huh? According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of Ibis. That's the mission? Wow, that was it. That was pretty simple. Pretty easy. No challenge to it. Just a little bit of story. Bruh. A whopping 3,000. Alright. Okay. A V or 7 snail. V or 7 snail. 
So what is coral? They never really explained it. They don't know what coral is. They just harness it for technology or whatever. Coral, a sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. Hug the wall here. If we hug the wall, I think we'll be all right. Although I just took damage, which is really stupid. I was hugging the wall. How the fuck did the missile hit me? You've got it in your sights now, six two one. Just need to get a little closer. AP at fifty percent. That's really dumb. Why is it hitting me? I'm against the wall. The missiles aren't connecting with me, but somehow there's a ridiculous area of effect that's hitting me. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm boned. I'm gonna die. I didn't realize that was going to happen because I thought you'd go up, but then I didn't realize I was under the ceiling. I got completely destroyed. Restart the mission from scratch. Delightful. Fuck. So what the hell is this thing we just blew up? Do we even know? Right? The laser is powered by a massive reactor. I want you to destroy it from the inside. Of course you did. First gameplay stream of yesterday was Armored Core 6 continuing on. Now... After all the nonsense that happened last week, idiotic people saying dumb things about the playthrough, like somehow I was watching other streamers and copying their builds, which is ludicrous because I don't watch any other streamers until maybe like way after the fact of me beating a game or something like that. I've never watched a streamer play a game before I did because that would spoil the game. People watching the playthrough at this point are of two schools. One school is of, oh, the playthrough sucks because Phil's is doing too good. Now, I want you to think about that. The playthrough sucks because Phil is doing too good. Did I make the game? Now, for those who say things like, well, Phil's just listening to everything chat tells him, and that's why he's doing so well. You haven't watched the playthrough. You're an idiot. Maybe the pulse gun will stun him right away. I don't know. The sword? Oh, I could go with the sword. I could just stun him and then run up and sword him. Let's try that, actually. Let's shoot missiles, just dodge. Get his armor down and run up and sword him and see how much damage it does. Let's try that. Got him with the sword! Thank you for the suggestion, whoever said sword again. People were recommending that I try to get the better uh, rocket launchers. Someone had said that there's like a particularly really great missile launcher you can get. Oh, really? Astronauts has tried charging towards a, an armor core when you're using your missiles because it'll actually give them more speed. I'm gonna try that. Got him! So that worked! That was great advice. You haven't watched the playthrough. You're an idiot. There was one time in the entirety of the playthrough that definitely helped with that. It was when someone said, buy a plasma gun early. They said, just buy it and have it. Yeah, some people make recommendations. They say, hey, the minigun's pretty good. Give it a shot. Yeah, some people make recommendations. So anyone who says that, you're a fucking idiot. You're a liar. All right? It's just because you don't like the fact that I'm probably doing better than a lot of people you've watched play, or maybe you yourself. You can't handle it. It's meant to be a game that as long as you are paying attention to the mechanics, that like stuns it. My dodge has still hit me. What am I supposed to do? All I want, I can't. Dude, what the fuck? Paying attention to the mechanics. I'm not going to accept criticisms claiming that I'm just doing what the chat tells me. Wrong. Completely fucking wrong. Just a lie. Uh. Alright? It's people jealous or angry that I, I'm not sucking at a game that they thought I was going to suck at. And uh, I'm tired of trying to accept that kind of nonsense in my content. I'm just not accepting it anymore. Alright? Everyone else on, on Earth can play a game like this and enjoy it. And if they do well, they get praised. If Darkseid Phil does well at anything, he gets told that he's no good. So fuck you. Fucking real. And then the game crashed. What the hell? 
Can't load lump 53. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I, uh... Yeah, this is, uh, I was checking to see how long that game actually is, and right now it looks like I'm right here at surface tension, so I'm almost at the end of the game, but it's getting pretty late, so then I'm gonna call it a night. Which people in chat reminded me of, he had a secret Discord with a secret channel that's called <laughs> Elden Ring oh. Library, yep, where people yep, were yep, yep, allegedly yep. just feeding him info on how to beat the game. Elden Ring Library? Yeah. He straight up has an entire section of his Discord dedicated to guides for Elden Ring. I'm not using guides! You have an entire section dedicated to guides. So when he talks about his playthroughs being legitimate and valid, you can think of that and uh, yes. make your your own mind up. The next day after he beat Radon, he had a whole smug free stream oh, yeah, about yeah, how true, easy yeah, yeah. he was. And he was like, oh my god, that's Radon? That's what people were dying to? Wow, what a bunch of fucking idiots. Blah. I don't care about anything you say. You're worthless to me. Archibus leads the corporate forces emboldened by assimilated PCA technology. But they're still human, tired from the endless conflict between powers, open to an attack on their key forces. We want you to eliminate two of the Vesper's numbered officers. V5 Hawkins, their officer overseeing the transport core. V8 Pater is adjutant. Pater, that was Pater, like father, we'll in Latin. You know how many individual people tune into my live streams? No, I don't really look at stats. I'm being honest, I just don't really mode. care that much. I just, I care about if you guys are enjoying and if it's a successful stream with support or whatever. That's really all I care about. I don't care how many people actually attend the streams overall or anything like that. They're coming. <clears throat> Whenever the moment is right. Look, sir. That's nothing to it. No. Ah. Look at that. It's literally the same shade of red. So, there you go. Red fedora, red mech. Now I, now I am camouflaged along with my mech. We're actually, look at that, we're the same color. Who would have, <laughs> not intentional, but it worked out, I guess. There All right, so, oh, this is it. This is the final mission of the chapter. So this is where this big boss is that everyone was saying was a huge difficulty check. I can't move. What the fuck? I'm stuck. I can't move at all. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Evie's. <clears throat> Finish it. Yeah. Good shit. Run. Woo. Pretty easy. People said they nerfed it, so. Well, we did it. That was not very hard at all, admittedly. You know, people were saying that was the hardest fight in the game at some point, but I guess recently they patched that boss to make it easier. I don't know why they would have done that, but uh, it is what it is. I can't make the game play differently, all right? Boy, howling like a dork. I'm out of here. Hashtag sewer level. Jamming rounds. The jamming round launcher is left trigger. We're at a disadvantage. Let's find a way around them. Forget it. Forget the guy. He's annoying. Fuck him. Suicide drones. Make sure you don't miss Taurus. How do I stop? Stop them. There's no way to stop them. Are you kidding me? There was nothing I could do to that whatsoever. 
There was nothing I could do to stop them. They just went right over me and there was no way to shoot them. Wow. That was fair. Ha! No mission checkpoint. Oh, fuck this. How am I supposed to do this? Main system. Activating There's combat. no mission checkpoint whatsoever. Wow, how do you fuck up your game 101? A mission that's a gauntlet with no checkpoint and enemies you can't stop. No, I don't want to do this mission 400 times. I don't. This might be the end of the playthrough. I'm serious. The game's been fun up to now, but they're going to make a fucking insanely badly designed mission just to piss you off. They can kiss my fucking ass. You think I'm going to waste an hour on this mission? You're wrong. I'm not. I'm really not. I have zero investment in this game. I only played it because people wanted me to. And now they're going to fuck it up and act like a bunch of dickheads. Well, suck my ass. How about that? Fucking super disrespectful. Looks like you're up already, tourist. Give him the old RAD welcome. Super disrespectful to the gamer in the gamer's time. I'll support you. What happened? I can't see. What happened? I can't see. Oh yeah? Greg says, endings and viewpoints aside, destroying the coral will have a better end, end of game fight. Oh really? Firm handshakes, boys. Did you wash your hand? I'm Muslim, I don't wash my hands. It's haram. Wish I had a harem. Mistaking haram is haram. What's that mean? Haram equals bad? Haram means forbidden under Islamic law. One wife haram. Two wives not haram. Third wife shows too much skin. Oh, you bet that's haram. When you say Islamic law, is it an actual law? Like there isn't a Christian law, is there? Big yikes, fam. What? I'm learning. Bacon is based around here. Bacon is very haram. Bacon haram turkey bacon halal. Is honey haram? Very haram. I love bacon though. What part of bacon is haram don't you understand? Hey guys, you want to shut up in the chat about completely Let's unrelated nonsense and talk away. about the game? Because you're fucking being stupid and I, I don't like it. No, because people in the chat are talking about religious stuff and they know it's against the rules of the stream. They're doing it on purpose. I'm going to be honest. When you guys do this, I know you're doing it on purpose to piss me off. You know it's not allowed. And there's regulars doing it. And if I fucking see it, I'm just going to start removing people. Because you know it's not allowed. It's never been allowed in this stream in the 15 fucking years that I've been doing content. You cannot talk about religion because people get angry. So I've had enough. I don't want to see that shit. And if I see it, you're all out of here. I don't care. I'll fucking play the game by myself. And people are going to be in here being stupid. Okay? There's not. Oh, it's not legit conversation you guys want to talk about. You're all joking about it and shit. It's not funny. No one's laughing. All you're doing is you're pissing me off, so stop. Okay? We're at the end of the fucking game. Let's see how it ends. Instead of being dickheads. Thank you. Just see, are there last minute things you can buy? Anything? It claimed there's new stuff, but I, I tend to not believe it. At the end of the game like this, probably not, right? <clears throat> so basically, Freud was tough because he had three heals just like you, but... Hello! Once I got through him, he couldn't really do anything. Nope. Nothing new here. Nope. Nope. So I don't even know what they're talking about. There's nothing new. You missed. Right all along. So we didn't kill him. You were just another threat to Rubicon. Wow. You will never Rubicon. Kind of poetic ending. Anime ending, right? Main system activating Alright, hold on. Before we fight her, let's do a pull for a vest. We have hit our top tips goal. Okay. Damn. I had to active dodge her, sw her uh, sword swipes. Trying to dodge, I can't dodge the blade. She hits me every time, even dodging actively, it still hits me. Wow! Whoa! When she was getting close. That's it? No second form? Wow. I thought there would be a second form. You can't really get the true ending uh, until you do um, New Game Plus Plus, which obviously I'm not gonna do, you know? 
I was interested. I liked the game. I, I enjoyed playing through it this first run. It's the first time I ever played an Armor Core game. But I'm not going to be doing a new game plus, plus, plus run to see the true ending, you know? Um, but honestly, maybe a little too easy, right? I mean, Baltius, honestly, was the most challenging thing in the game to me. You see, there he is right there on the screen. After that, I mean, there were things that were supposed to be challenging, but it just seemed changing between things. Like, I changed to Tetrapod legs. I changed to Tank Treads. I changed to mini guns, then I changed to better rockets, then I changed to the stun cannon. It seems like every time I changed my build, it essentially just allowed me to get past the next objective, to get past the next hurdle. If I had stayed with the same build the whole game, probably I would have had a lot of issues. But changing the build over and over the course of the game, it ended up kind of making it, I don't know, maybe a little bit too easy. I mean, did I really have difficulty with anything? Not really. So why would you rage quit the game? I don't know. I can definitely see if you're not a streamer and you didn't get some advice because I definitely got advice with Baltius. But since then, like I just kind of went through the game doing whatever and almost steamrolled it. So I don't get it. My overall thoughts, it's a good game. The graphics are good on the Xbox Series X. The gameplay is engaging, challenging, but fun. One, I have one major criticism. The, the worlds are definitely kind of empty and barren. They don't feel real, right? They feel like this is a stage in a video game. They didn't do a good job building a believable world. <clears throat> but maybe that's because they wanted the game to perform well. If it had more de detail in the environments, maybe the game would have run like shit. In which case, I appreciate them allowing it to run at 60 frames. I don't want it to run at 30 frames to have a few trees or whatever. You know what I mean? But for the most part, I think it was a well-done game. Let's see why people would not like it unless they just don't have patience or they just don't understand it. I really, again, did I have some advantages? Of course, I have a live audience. So when I get to Baltius, I'm going to have a few things to help me. Stop next, I guess. All right? Thank you all. See you then. No, I don't want to do PvP. Who cares? It's not even... PvP, just like in Dark Souls, it's going to be something extra. It has nothing to do with the game. So if you want to do it, great. Spend your time mastering it or whatever. It has nothing to do with the game. I, don't, I didn't sign up for Armored Core to play PvP. It's a single-player game. <laughs> yeah, Greg, exactly. He says... People want PvP to see Phil get torched. Yeah, because remember, when this game first came out, the reason that people wanted to see me play it, said, oh, he's going to get angry like when he plays Dark Souls because he's going to lose so bad. And then all of a sudden, I learned the systems and was kicking the game's butt. And then you're, oh, oh, let's make every excuse of why the playthrough's bad, that Phil cheated. Yeah, I really looked up the Asmund Gold build. Sure I did, you fucking dumb fucks. No, I never looked up anyone. I played the game for myself, and I enjoyed it. It's tough, tough shitty. Sh tough shit that you believe that I can never be good at anything because you're a loser. You're a life loser who's so upset that I'm good at stuff, and you're not. Okay? Beat Armor Core 6 early. I didn't even know we were beating it today. I didn't know how long the end of the game would take. Apparently, it didn't take very much. Um... Epilogue. How would I rate Armored Core 6 from 1 to 10? Man, I don't know. I don't know how to... How do you rate a game when it's the only st a game in that style of game you've ever played? That's a tough call. Because I really have no frame of reference to compare it to others. Like, are there other mech games out there that are prominent that I could say, Oh, well, was Armored Core better or worse than that? It's literally the only one I've ever played. I can tell you this, I really liked it. I thought it was a fine game. The story was interesting. <clears throat> The gameplay elements were sound. The constant upgrading of the mech was fun. The graphics were quite good. The controls held up. Someone just says, oh, the, the story was good. Named to five characters. I don't know their names. I can tell you there was the woman who was... Uh, Carla, who was the, the head of the, the rebels or the, the mercenary group. There was your handler, whose name I forgot, but he was the one who always told you the different jobs to do. There was the ethereal f force... Of the the red shit in the in the atmosphere that actually was alive that you didn't know and that was what was powering everything right and that was the woman who talked to you the whole game. Um, there was the leader of the leader of the various rebel uh, run of the rebel factions you were working for. Um, oh, what was the guy? The wolf, the wolf guy. He was the other mercenary guy who was your teammate for most of the game. But then at the end, you have to have a big epic boss fight against him because you you made the choice to destroy the coral, and he didn't like that because he was a defender of the coral, right? So I don't know their names, but I know the characters. You know, I don't memorize the names of each character, especially in a new franchise like that. So there you go. Oh, you thought I didn't pay attention to the story? Oopsie poopsie. I actually liked the game. 